the areas that already got that big rain from last storm will uh, deal with probably some pretty dangerous flooding and mudslide issues. So that is something to keep in mind as this next one comes through. We're seeing the rain falling over up in the nor northern California region, not here. We'll possibly see some of this storm system move over overnight. Doesn't look like the chances are great with that, but it's the next system that we will be watching. We go from Mountain High now to Big Bear, where it is 25 degrees, pretty chilly, not as bad as we've seen uh, in the past week where it was single digits. But look at that view over Riverside. It's 51 degrees from our running springs camera. More snow there expected in the coming days. But we are seeing some dense fog down below. And when we look at our visibility map with 10 being good visibility and zero being horrible visibility, Point Magoo, one and a half, Camarillo, three mile visibility, Burbank, just a mile. So that's that that's where you want to really be careful when you're driving and especially when there's not too much light around Upland, zero visibility. That's the worst that we're seeing. And then just over a quarter of a mile in Ontario into Riverside uh, in Temecula and Chino. So this region the, of the IE, that's the most dense fog that we're seeing out there. We're also going to be talking about some really high waves that are coming with this system. And most of it is going to be, again, focused towards the Ventura County coast. 10 to 15 foot breakers there. The LA County coast, 6 to 10 foot breakers. And then Orange County, uh, 6 to 9 feet waves. Uh, so that is the possibility of coastal flooding. That's the possibility of dangerous rip currents. If you're not really experienced, you want to stay away. Now, as far as that storm tonight, a cold front passes. And again, look, there's not much green that pops up. If anything, just some cloud coverage, maybe a little bit of a drizzle that could come down. But then when we go into tomorrow morning, we can see there's still that chance of maybe some drizzle. But here's the low pressure system. This is the big guy that we're watching. It's going to move slowly, just like the last one did, but it doesn't have as much moisture. It does connect with an atmospheric river. So there is going to be uh, some more rainfall than a typical winter storm, and it does affect pretty much all of California there. But really, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Sunday night, I should say, is going to be the Ventura County LA side, side of things, and then more Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for the Orange County IE side of things. But that moisture doesn't really affect that eastern region as bad, like I said as far as the western side of things. So it really depends where you're at with this system. LA Orange County 70 forecast shows the uh, temperatures in the mid 60s. Again, rain uh, on the western side of LA is going to be greater than the eastern side, maybe towards San Gabriel Valley, but half an inch to an inch each day. Then it lingers Wednesday, dries up and Thursday, Friday temperatures start to come back up closer towards our average where we are pretty much today. Warmer conditions before the next system comes. Valleys, Inland Empire, you see some early morning fog. Temperatures start to come down uh, one to two inches, depending on where you're at. Lingering showers Wednesday, drying up back to 70 degrees Friday. Beach communities, we see uh, that high surf that we talked about for the coming days, especially Sunday and Tuesday during high tide. Warmer into next weekend. Mountain spots, there's the snow levels dropping each day. Wednesday morning, that's going to be the lowest at 6,500 feet. Doesn't look like the passes are going to be affected by that. What I mean is the grapevine, the Cajon Pass, whatnot. And finally, our upper deserts, all close to 80 degrees in Palm Springs this weekend. Uh, and the Antelope Valley mark in the mid to upper 60s. So enjoy today because tomorrow, whew, big not changes. As, not as promising. Yeah. And even more so the next day. Okay. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.